Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to download and install Firecut AI Premiere Pro plugin. Now this plugin is a really interesting one. As you can see right here, it's basically a plugin that can um, you know, have silence cutting, captions, zooms, chapters, podcasts, and much more right in Premiere Pro. Basically, this plugin will uh, save you a lot of time because it will cut silences in seconds, as you can see, and clean up hours of footage with one click. Now, obviously, this plugin is not free. It is 14 day. It has 14 day free trial. However, it's not free. So how can you actually install this plugin? It's very easy. So you have three different ways. First way is to just install the plugin self-explanatory just install the plugin go to the window go to extensions and then in the premiere pro and then you will be able to use it you can also manually install it by copying uh, the plugin to the extension folder however i would not recommend that i would recommend either by installer download or install via adobe exchange marketplace especially if you're not tax savvy now um, basically you can also do this via adobe exchange marketplace this is basically what it's called. If you go to Creative Cloud, if you have a Creative Cloud, if you have Premiere Pro already pre-installed uh, and Creative Cloud already pre-installed, you can go to Stock and Marketplace and you can go to Plugins. This is how it's going to look like. You can basically go to Plugins and here you can enter Firecut AI and then uh, you will get a Firecut AI plugin. All you have to do is install the ones you want to use by selecting Get. Obviously, you will need to pay for the access for Firecut AI Premiere Pro plugin. However, that's pretty much it. So again, you have three different ways how you can install it by installer download. So just download Firecut from the um, you know from their uh, website after you purchased it or after you get a 14 day free trial. And then uh, you can also manually install it by copying to the extension folder or installing it via Adobe Exchange Marketplace, which I showed you right here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next video.